Hey everyone, it's Chrissy Amston, your military move expert and impact agent. Today, we're going to dive into a question that many of my clients and most military families have. Should you rent or should you buy? Chances are, if you're moving to a military city or a place like El Paso and Fort Bliss, Texas, you are wondering what the pros and cons of buying and renting are. I am here today to help you make an informed decision on what might be the best for you. Let's start with buying. When you are purchasing a property, every month a bit of your payment goes to buy down your mortgage. What that does is it increases the equity that you have in your home. Naturally, you're building equity just by paying down that mortgage. In addition to that, you're also historically going to see a four to eight percent return on your investment. What that means is that as you are purchasing a home every year, because of home prices, you are going to see your home value go up. In most places, it's at a 4%. In El Paso and Fort Bliss, we are closer to a historical 8%, 8% as a return on investment. So every year, you may see an annual increase in the value of your home by 4 to 8%. Another big incentive and pro of purchasing a property is that you're going to be able to have control and stability. That stability comes from the fact that you are in charge of where you live. Your home price, your mortgage every month is not going to go up. You're not going to be asked to move by a landlord. You're going to be able to paint. DIY, decorate to your heart's content, which can often give you the stability when the military life is moving all over the place around you. One of the other biggest pros of purchasing a property is going to be your tax incentives. When you are paying rent, absolutely none of that comes back to you in tax benefits. Homeowners can use what they are paying and not only their mortgage interest, but also their property taxes as deductions. Deductions on your taxes equal additional tax refund money in your pocket. Real estate is a long-term investment, which can be difficult for military families that only live in a place for every three to four years. So, Let's talk about the cons of buying. When we are thinking about the cons of buying in a military city, the biggest thing is going to be your immediate upfront cost. Even though you can purchase with a VA loan and have a zero down payment, there are still costs associated with purchasing a home. You're gonna have your upfront property taxes prorated at purchase, closing costs from using that mortgage loan originator, and it may take a few years to recoup those initial costs. There's also market risk. We are in what is called a buyer's market right now in El Paso. There is the chance that even though we're talking about the historical four to 6% increase in your home value, there's always going to be market risk. Purchasing a home, historically is a very sound investment that you will always see increase in purchase price and equity. But if you're only owning your home for a, three, a few years, three to four years, it may not make the most sense. Another con you may not have thought of is the responsibility of the home maintenance. You have to invest money into your property to maintain your home. When you're renting a home, somebody else is investing their money into the day-to-day -day annual maintenance. So let's switch gears a bit and let's talk about some pros of renting. Number one, it's flexibility. It provides you an opportunity that if you think you may be relocated with a PCS or an ETS or a deployment in the upcoming months or years, renting a home offers additional flexibility. It also offers lower initial upfront costs. Traditionally, you'll have a pet fee 
you'll have a security deposit, and you'll have first month's rent. You also will have zero maintenance costs. Now, like most of us, we're going to improve our property when we're living in it. But when you're renting a home, you're not going to be responsible if something breaks, if there's, you know, extra uh, renovation costs like you would if you were to purchase a home. Financial safety is also a pro of renting a property. It allows you the opportunity that if the market does change or if you have to move very quickly, you're not going to have to worry about recouping those initial upfront costs. Now, some cons of renting that you may not have thought of. Of course, I've said it a lot on this video. Number one is you're not building equity. You're making somebody else rich by covering their mortgage. Paying yourself with a mortgage payment is always going to increase your overall net worth and wealth. Renters often are limited in what they can do with customization. Now, I love good peel and stick wallpaper, just like the rest of you. But at the same time, there's something that's really, really nice about being able to renovate a bathroom, redo flooring, or even just paint a wall and not have to ask permission. Some of the cons with renting also are uncertainty. If your landlord decides that they need to sell the home, doesn't matter if you have a lease or not, they may ask you to move. Now, of course, your lease is honored in the state of Texas until that expiration month, but I don't know about you, I do not like the idea of packing up all of my stuff a second time and having to move it because my landlord decided to sell the house. Financial situations and circumstances are always going to be different for each and every one of us. It's important that you understand the pros and cons so you can make an informed decision on what might be best for you. Maybe it's buying, maybe it's renting. I can't make that decision for you. I can tell you that millionaires are made with purchasing real estate. A VA loan can be a catalyst to you retiring with more than just your TSP. If you want to explore either of the options, I'm happy to dive even deeper into your specific financial picture, as well as your timeline for your PCS or ETS. I can help you decide whether renting or buying makes the most sense for you. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. Subscribe and follow along as we're going to continue a video series. And I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.